Oh, my back is really not up to the corner of your squats, you know, bitch. Like as we got today, just lock in on it. Week four, man. What's good, YouTube? So on the squats, man, listen. I was a little iffy. Cause 365, I literally botched that at the beginning of the Mine's block. Okay. So right now, I'm paying for doing everything speedy instead of how I was supposed to do it, man. Like uh everything felt good. You get what I'm saying? Everything felt wonderful. But I know my coach know that I could have held back until this week right here. And it's okay. So at the end of the day, when I came in the squats, man, I really was just focused on just getting it together, knocking it down, being vigilant on the squats, you know what I'm saying? I got a little lower back, uh, upper glute pain, not as much, but a little bit. So I'm working on that right now. My uh, coach got me doing these banded X's and they've been helping a lot. So I literally must have forgot how to hinge or something. That's the only thing that happened. So that was like a major L. But uh, as you can see, three plates, they moved it perfectly, bro. I put the tripod too high. I put it on top of another stand. So like I was like looking at my depth like, man, that shit is crazy. But uh, for the most part, bro, like I was really locked in. I did... Uh, 340 for four, uh, 338 actually for four. I felt good, man. But uh, every my squat and my deadlift been taking a back seat ever since me overshooting. You know, that's just what it was, me overshooting. So now I'm getting back into the groove. Got kind of like a D low block for block five, and everybody, I want y'all to know I'm doing surge classic. Uh, my coach want me to do that 100 kg. So I'm there and it's, it's going down and uh, I'm really lit for it, uh, really excited. Um, first meet, just gonna get this in the books and not gonna complain about nothing, bro. Just finna bulk up a little bit, uh, healthy, get right, get my mind right, do everything that I'm supposed to do and just take it to the next level. So at the end of the day, bro, it's like when it come to, when it come to me uh, powerlifting and doing what I'm doing, I really like to lock in. Like, that's just my thing. I like to lock in. I'm really feeling these back downs. See camera angle at the right angle. And uh, as you can see, like I didn't have, I had some quad tenderness, but not no more as so much as I did. And bro, it was because I did like knees over toes, like squatting and I'm not even low barring it. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bro, it's like, I didn't pay the price and I'm getting better and better and better and better. And I feel good about everything I'm doing. So it's all good in my eyes. And uh, I just want to keep going. Cause at the end of the day, as long as I keep going and I knock this out, I'll be straight. Nothing really to worry about. So I'm back on bench, bro. I'm back. I'm not going to lie. Like my bench, it sucked because that's how I got the pec strain, uh, overworking my pectoral muscles. And, um, I'm very excited. I did a top set of uh, 282 and a half. So what that means is them threes, they coming. And that's going to be easy work. That's going to be really easy. Now, everybody that doubted me, I'm talking about everybody that doubted me. You got something, you got, you got something to be scared of, bro. Because once my mind get back to trigger, to thinking like, oh, yeah, you could do this again. Like, bro, I benched 405, like, I could do it again. I know I'm gonna be able to do more. I feel how the weight feel. I know my leg drive everything. I'm there. You get what I'm saying? So this is that 277 and a half for four at RPE nine. And it felt good. You know, it felt good. Like, I can't even lie to you, bro. Like, I feel extremely good. Like, that's okay. Some lifts gonna take a back seat and squat, deadlift taking a back seat right now the bench is going back to where it need to be i see where my growth is at right now so it's okay like i know I, like i know i could do better i know i could do more i know i could bring more and that's what we're gonna do exactly so at the end of the day like uh this block was really just 
making sure that I understood everything that was going on and what I'm supposed to do, how I'm not supposed to do it, and not be messing up. So um, my top set, uh, 282 and a half. It, it wasn't nothing. It, it felt good, bro. Like, you know, it was just right now in my head, I'm just mad that I can't pull my deadlifts how I want to because I'm healing right now from a minor tweak. Uh, But as you can see on this bench, like, bro, I'm dialed in, bro. And I'm dangerous when I get locked in. Like, I'm very dangerous, bro, because I don't worry about nothing else and I'm not concerned with nothing else. I'm only worried about prep, what I'm supposed to be doing, how I'm supposed to be eating, how I'm supposed to be sleeping, family, and that's it. Like, so at the end of the day, like, you got to dial in on certain things, bro. If you don't, then it's not going to help. This is 245, and uh, these are back downs. And like I said, it felt good, bro. Like, my squat felt good this week, too. Like, I'm not going to lie. It, it felt good. I just know I went a little high. Like, and I don't think I did. I think it was just a view. So at the end of the day, it ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. And uh, make sure that when you lift them, bro, that technique be on point. Don't injure yourself doing some stuff, man. This last block, I've been seeing too many people come in the gym and just lift weight that they're not used to. Um, these have really been helping. Uh, these RDLs are special. They're very special, and I got to keep going because at the end of the day, these going to make uh, my back stronger, my lower back stronger, my glutes and my uh, hamstrings, and that's what I need at this point right now. So we can't back down off of this at all. It's just it's key right now. Like My coach got me doing three sets of eight with this. Um, and I was just warming up right now. I just went up to uh, two thirty. He told me to go up. He was right there. He told me to go up, so I went up and really locked in and dialed in and got it out the way. So it's very special at this moment because the only thing that's hindering my training a little bit is this weakness I feel in my upper glute, lower, lower back, very lower. Like it's right above my glute. But um, that's the thing about powerlifting, bro. You gonna feel like shit. So that's the I think that's the good part that most of us like we like feeling like shit or being fucking extra strong, bro. So that's what this is, man. Just make sure that you locked in, bro. Like dial in. If you could lock in, you could you could do the weight, you could get it together. You'll be a hundred percent better. But if you're not, then it's not gonna work. You get what I'm saying? So just make sure that you dialing in on your nutrition, your sleep, and tracking your progress. You know, I use it in my pad and sometimes my notebook. So programming you know if you don't got a coach look into a coach man you're not always going to be as strong as you think you are and you're not going to hit the prs every day every week bro it don't go that way you know it's probably not for everybody you know that's my coach moving the camera back so i get the view so he get the view when i send it but uh overall bro it just felt good i felt beautiful man like we just getting we just getting locked in we getting prepared bro because next block prep there is no time for any mistakes bro and I re i'm gonna say it again there is no time for any mistakes what I'm going to bring to the table is what I'm going to bring to the table. And I hope you guys continue on this journey with me. Uh, We're going to do a little Road to Surge classic, man. So let's go, man. Oh, yeah, my coach, he thinks it's funny about these Bulgarians. Yes, we love to hate these. These are very crazy. But the quads and how it builds up that strength is, is very dope. So at the end of the day, it's, just, it's all about dialing in and locking in, bro. Like, that's really it. So... Put the work in, stop complaining, stop bitching, train, eat, sleep heavy, and everything else, will, it'll work, bro, if you're really doing it. If you skip accessories and you're not doing that extra set that you need, you're doing two sets out of three, then nine out of ten, bro, that's why your lifts are shitty, bro. So don't look at me. Don't blame nobody. Don't blame your coach. Blame yourself for skipping things that you know you're supposed to be doing, even on nutrition, bro. You can't eat like shit. So we just gonna sit here and act like we don't want to get it done just because it's Monday. YouTube was to it, man. Secondary bench, uh, Spoto. So our, I warmed up, still warming up. Two twenty five. We're gonna take it for a quick ride. Um, for the most part, bro, it's like my squat and bench took a. I mean, my squat and deadlift has took a back seat for my bench, and that's because week two I did the three sixty five for four. Unfortunately. I kind of rushed it. Uh, so right now we we going back into the mode. Uh, 275, Spoto. Like, look at that. Nice warm up. Nice warm up. You know what I'm saying? Just getting a good feel of it. Just making sure everything is what it is. So we locked in right now. Um, 
280. This is a PR for Spoto. I just did this for my uh, primary bench. So this just lets you know how strong I really am. Uh, we're doing this for five. And then our back downs was 250 for five. So at the end of the day, we was really just locked in. There wasn't nothing to it today. Just really going through the motions and getting everything locked in. Uh, I felt really good. Like, Welcome back to another video, man. As you can see, we locked in literally on Spoto today. Um, for the most part, I'm okay. I feel good. <laughs> Just hit my primary bench for a secondary bench. And Blake think it's funny, but it is what it is. So we're going to knock down these two sets. Call it a day. So here we go with the back downs. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I knocked these out. Uh, my third set of these, I was kind of fatigued, but that's just natural though. Coming with the volume that I'm doing from uh, training right now. And uh, this is week four. So I'll have a D-Lo block, I guess. And uh, it's prep time after this. So hundreds. Most of my lifts I had uh, RP9, if not 8. So I was really just locked in and dialed in. These tricep rollbacks for 40 with the 40s for uh, 12. Felt good. Like I just, man, overall, my coach, he's the best, man. I, I didn't feel stronger than I ever have in my life. And it's really dope to see where I'm finna go after this and what I'm going to do because we're going to keep going forward. So at the end of the day, man, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. Get your boy Mr. Lock in and the algorithm man i love you guys man have a good day have a good rest of the week man don't forget to lock in